And this whole bill, I mean, what's going on here is we have very, two very different visions for our schools. We have the previous governor and the current governor, aided by this General Assembly, putting in place an unelected state board to relentlessly pursue an ideological agenda of privatizing and corporatizing our school system to take away local control of our schools. The people directly said they didn't like that by electing a superintendent of public instruction that they felt would have some power and authority, who would at least have an equal seat at the table. But all that's been happening is you have undermined the will of the people one step after another, and more is coming. And so all I am attempting to do with this amendment is simply to reset what has been a long-standing process for over 100 years, which is that the chair of the State Board of Education is actually the duly elected superintendent of public instruction. This is something that really deserves consideration. It's not the kind of thing that we should be trying to do in the midst of a legislative session based on personalities or folks who say they simply can't get along. That's not our job to interject at this point and to override what's been longstanding practice. This has nothing to do, nothing to do with organization. And it's all about personality. Every last bit of it, and you know it, and we know it. Because we know exactly what happened here. Your guy got beat. And he got beat because he had terrible policies and a lot of people didn't like him. His name was Tony Bennett. And he went over the state and he caused a lot of embarrassment for you guys who voted for his policies. Made a lot of people angry. Few of you even had to repudiate the fact that you supported some of his bills. You felt duped. Well, then we had the people send Glenda Ritz to the State House. By the way, I don't know if all of you got to meet Glenda. Very nice person. Very capable person. Very smart person. Understands the educational system as well as anyone that I have ever met. Even if she did come from the library sciences, as Senator Long pointed out. So let's be honest about what we're doing here. This is a created soap opera for the purpose of stripping Superintendent Ritz of her powers. The powers that the people understood that she had when they selected her to lead our state's educational system. 